Hi, this is Mia. This is um, Friday. I have the day off, but there's always a but. I have physical therapy at 10:20, and I should be sleeping right now. I got up. That's one thing I don't like about having appointments is I get up worried about oh I gotta do this. Oh I wash clothes. Oh I take a shower. What? There's clothes in the bathroom in the shower now. The little washer and all this. I um, I just want to say that two things to start. One is about eBay, my eBay store. I should be doing some Macari and what's the other one? Um, Mark something Mark Mark Poshmark. I'm not. I have my own website. I should should sold stuff that was banned <laughs> or from like. People trying to ban stuff from uh, COVID restrictions, but there's people that live places where they can't get masks and gloves. And I, I, as a doctor, I couldn't even get stuff from the med supply companies. That like these people were giving me a hard time. Like I'm a doctor trying to get stuff that I already got from you guys before the quarantine to keep me and my patients safe from masks to gowns to gloves to sharps container you know what i mean like this is everyday stuff and we're just trying to reorder and you're telling me you can't send it to that address you can't send it to my new clinic address you can't send it to my home address like i do house calls like how do you deal with people like you're gonna say oh this clinic that has 50 doctors working there and physician's assistant nurse practitioners and they see the patient from 2.5 to 10 minutes at a time, I go from patient to patient to patient, or you're going to say, oh, you're going to let them buy a whole bunch of stuff, they're getting a bunch of money, they're spending a bunch of money, but someone like me, who's like driving two hours to do a house call without the customer paying, which I think is lame as heck, um, stupid, I may have waived that, but it's also stupid of me to, which reminds me, I do have an appointment tomorrow, I, I'm missing my baby, um, stethoscope adapter i have no idea where it is i might have left it somewhere i gotta i gotta look for that oh my gosh anyways um i hope it's in my bag anyways i could go through my medical bit bag maybe on a video i should take a picture of everything make a blog I'm, i like reading things anyways you're gonna let me not order the stuff i've already been ordering to the addresses i've already been using and it's like i bend over backwards and these other practitioners are making six figures and I'm making like three figures or four thousand dollars like a year because insurance isn't paying me for all these people and I'm paying money to somebody else to buy this equipment so that I can take care of these patients and I'm like frustrated because I had to limit my services because I'm not able to get the supplies and I want to get the supplies I'm going on Amazon, so I'm having an even another middleman, a couple more middlemen, and I don't even want to keep supporting Amazon. Um, I try to support companies who do help wholesale that um, are in the, um, supposed to be vendors for my businesses, or support uh, mom and pop or a, you know small business, which there's one that these people work out of the basement in Portland. Um, I order stuff from them. I had to order cleaning supplies from them. Like, I think some of them are about to expire. Because I can't. And you see these trucks in McKesson and stuff driving up and down the street. And you're like, why can't you deliver to me? Like, I'll meet you somewhere. Like, hey, I'm trying to order $300. Like, I literally, with Henry Trine, ordered $300. $400, $200 worth of stuff since last summer, since last year, I guess last spring, summer. They didn't send me a thing. There's no explanation. You know, they don't, there's no record of the orders. Like I'm calling, they're telling me I have to re-sign up or do this or do that or call. I can't place the order online. I was like, they're like, call on Monday morning and make a list of what you want and order it over the phone. Like I don't, I don't took like weeks to figure out what exactly what I wanted. Like if you're buying syringes, um, for injections, you need, like, they have the lower lock ones. You need to make sure, like, the male and female ends actually fit together because you'll get two that are like this. 
you got butterfly needles, which are expensive. You got different sizes and gauges and lengths, lengths, and you need to know what you're doing for what. And it's just like I don't forgot if you order injections, injectables for minor surgery or whatever, you need to know what you like. I was stupid to not because usually you say something to cart, you say something to cart, and it stays there as you logged in. And then you order it and it disappeared. And it's literally like, sometimes it's a glitch, but I, that was like, the last time I did it was the third time I've done it. And I even had this lady say, I can't send it to that address. It's a home address. I'm like, I've got 100% of what I ordered since 2015 sent to that address. I was like, I have another clinic over here. That other address is a home address. I'm a one person. I have a clinic, but nobody's there. And if somebody is going to be downtown and a clinic walking up and down the halls, you know, the guy that, that that's across the hall had a bunch of Christmas gifts, or maybe he celebrates um, Hanukkah. He had a bunch of gifts stolen because people are roaming up and down the hall looking for deliveries because there's no, it's like a hallway down the hall. You know how office buildings can be hallway, upstairs, downstairs. There's no security guards watching the entrances, they're, you know. They're, the doors are wide open until, I don't even... Like, there's only, like, twice that I've done the keypad to at the keyless entry. And other certain days, the side door would be shut, but the front door would be wide open. Like, all day Sunday, there's... So if you have packages or you have stuff outside your door, like decorations, that stuff walks, you know what I mean? Um, it could walk. It's not being... So it's like you're gone, you want to have it sent to your home. And you're like, oh, we can't send it to a residential. Oh, we can't send it. Well, that's the my medical license that's the address my home address is the my where my medical address is that people try to say we need to match it up with your license well that and this lady's like we need to verify it so i said fine i'll send it to my clinic space and i'll pay someone to go over there and pick it up you know get the tracking and say oh it's supposed to be out for delivery but i was gonna pay someone to go pick it up and they spelled the street like say it's smith street they spelled it like like stroganoff you know with three z's x y at the end like something something like it it was all messed up you're like are you kidding me you try to tell me that you're on the computer oh let me verify that address you spell the address completely it's like she did it on purpose and you don't verify anything and for, for all you know i really live in a housing program <laughs> like for all you know my address my residential address is also a business address um someone else property owner is running a business with that you know what i mean it's like um what is that not investment companies but property management company <clears throat> it's like what if i send it to the to the manager's office you know, as they do some apartments they order stuff and it goes to the manager's office anyway because the um then the manager will call the customer the tenant and come pick up their packages uh, in the lobby Anyways, that's a different story I was going to talk about. I am hoarding stuff for eBay. I'm trying to look over here. I have a big crate. I was going to put almost everything in there. I told you it smelled like ashes and plastic. I tried to air it out a couple times. My boyfriend kept putting the hood or the lid back on it. I was going to wash uh, some big piece of blanket with it and um, in the shower and put soap and water and baking soda and bought borax and all kinds of stuff to see if I could. So anyway, anyways, I spilled uh, coconut butter, coconut oil on a, this is such a horrible thing, guys, to have in the bed. The coconut oil does not stay solid, so if it is warm, <laughs> it's like abnormally warm and abnormally cold at the same time here because it's not insulated. So if you have a heater on, you have heat in that area, you, the floors freezing cold and the up is super hot and you're sweating all the time but you're freezing and putting more clothes on and wool socks it's just ridiculous this is year round but it is humid it's a, you know seals the windows are old the landlord cigarette smoke comes in anyways that's a different story too I never got around right there. Something happened with this jar I must have left it open on the bed and moved and it tipped over and it spilled oil all over this electric blanket and I was like oh my god can you even wash these and I was like trying to stop it up with paper towels and I'm like oh 
I don't think that worked. It needs to be washed. Maybe wash, rinse, wash, rinse a couple times. So we'd have to pay like 20 bucks at the um, laundromat. So I was thinking of washing that, like at least soaking it and then maybe taking it in the laundromat to get it done once. Because I think it says, does it say dry aloe or dry or does it say hang dry? I think it was like summer I was going to go out and hang it in a tree or something. I don't know what I was going to do. But my wife was like, oh, don't use that crate to wash stuff. So I was thinking, kill two birds with one stone, wash stuff, and get that smell out. Because I, I got some bubble wrap in there, but I don't want people opening up and being like, <laughs> like, my sense of smell is really bad. So if I think it smells like ashes or cigarette ashes, and like, I feel like someone was around it an employee or it was in the back room with the door open and it just literally plastic smells annoying but someone either dropped a old cigarette in the plastic melted plastic or I don't know what it be the mold or something it is and the same thing with that plastic odor that's not that good um, we have a lot of plastic containers in here and a lot of cardboard boxes it's out of control so you see some eBayers post pictures of their house and it's like you have the stuff stacked up in their living room in the bedroom and their wife's trying to kick them out of the house or their, or their husband or oh my god you're a hoarder you got the spare room we can't have anyone over blah 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 and people are trying to get um, storage units in the country some places it's sixty dollars a month for a big one three hundred four hundred dollars a month two hundred here's two twenty a month it was 180 these people lie and try to say they sent us a flyer but there's a truck in there that doesn't work if i had got a flyer saying that it was gonna be to go up 40 dollars a month i would have got that truck some temporary tags and found another place and moved everything like you know or get it towed and once they start charging you you feel like well they're already still charging me my stuff's already there i don't have to deal with it and then you just ignore it and let's keep paying so every time someone reminded me this is common sense every time you complain about something and you don't do anything about it it's my fault you know and it sucks that people are able to do that and um, raise the price without any type of notice but she's like oh a whole bunch of people didn't know it's like you guys didn't send out any postcards we being kind of a hoarder you have like every piece of mail Unfortunately, I got stuff from the volunteer. Sometimes it's slightly organized. It's not. This this was the worst stack. Trust me. I I filed it, and I'm so lazy to get stuff out of my file cabinet, my file box. I got this thing. The volunteer fire department I got check stubs. I need my. I had like every check stub. But I'm not. I filed them away and made it look nice. And now when I need to take pictures of my truck stop, I don't want to. Before I was like, oh, I'm in bed. Let me just grab it and take a picture. Click, click. Let's see what this is. American Heroes. Working smoke detectors. They want money. Volunteer. Fire department. What is this? Friends of Volunteer Fire Department. you can get a reflective address marker for your mailbox. That's kind of cute. I guess every one they send us to their house, I mean, I have a P.O. box, they would have a mailbox. My boyfriend's landlord would, would use it. His numbers are curl, all curled off. It's like a plastic mailbox. Had like a metal on it. The handle kept coming off. I kept screwing it back on. But not like super tight because I was using my pocket knife. All someone had to do was screw it on. You'd have a big metal mailbox. I got this flimsy plastic, put something in there, and it makes it go crooked so the door flies open. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> in my opinion, I don't understand why I don't get uh, my My dad had, I meant to come with the house, so I had like a huge mailbox. That saves the postal worker from 
having it come to your front door for a box this big. I think that's kind of nifty. Um, and if you resell it, you can put big boxes in there as well. Um, and it's no guarantee it's not going to get stolen, but it is a crime. I mean, I feel like it's more of a crime to enter someone's mailbox than it is to come to their front porch. I mean, people are getting their checks stolen. This old lady, she wouldn't pay. She'd only take her letters into the mailbox, into the post office. She would never take them and put them in the blue boxes or put them in her mailbox. And we lived in apartments where they have the big thing with the pole bolted to the ground. She's like, no, I don't trust that because it's locked. You put the letter in the slot. She's like, oh, I don't trust that. I, um, someone could, I mean, literally, they could unbolt it and lift it and take the whole thing and break it open, but... In Portland, people are breaking into those all the time, um, and people are getting checks and stuff stolen. And in our house, housing in Portland, they have a drop box, but it's too small or too full, or it's not like a big drop box that goes into their to their office. It's like a tiny little slot. So you put something in there, like a check or a no, and everyone else's checks are clogging it up. I was like getting sticks and trying to shove it in there and thinking it's going to be stuck or that someone else could come back with a pair of tweezers and just take my check and have my checking no account number. And like it's really intimidating. Like when I think about us as, as people, it's like there's no dignity. There's no care. It's just like sloppy. And I'm, I'm offering my services of not being sloppy, even though a lot of stuff, okay, my pic, this is what I'm going to adjust. My pictures for eBay are sloppy. I don't have good equipment. I don't have uh, any kind of um, photo lights. My iPad doesn't even have a flash on it. Usually I say, oh, Apple products are really nifty and smooth and nice, but it doesn't even have a light. So this is what I'm going to show you. <coughs> mm, I got one of those sour ones. I need something. I need some tea with honey in it. Okay, so. I say this picture of this lady. And I'm like, oh my god, this lady's like naked. I'm like, that doesn't look, <laughs> am I gonna get banned? And then I have another one. Wait, what happened to the other one? Oh, my pictures disappeared. Oh my gosh. What happened to my. I had about, you guys, I had about eight pictures. They disappeared. Oh my god. I had two VHS tapes that I had pictures of front and back. What happened? Let's go through here. Yeah, here. That was weird. That was under. Alright. So I also have the Pilates. Look how dark that is. Um, these look really unprofessional. I'll buy stuff from people like that. It looks really bad. I said, you know, you haven't posted anything in a really long time. So, here's my problem. I haven't posted stuff. I threw away a whole trash bag full of jewelry. Because the energy of it was really bad. There could have been 10 solid gold watches in there, and I would, or Rolex, and I, it's gone to the dump, um, this person, energy is on some stuff in here already, and when I, I try to do it for all of them, donate to the Flint Alano house, <laughs> so, I just want to, like, move that energy from negative and this person, uh, this is my boyfriend's ex, one of them, and there's, this is no good, at least that person in the past, so I don't, I'm <laughs> donating all this jewelry, um, proceeds, but, I mean, I have to be able to pay the shipping and stuff, but nothing sold, not one thing, um, I have a bunch more lists, so I have a store in here, um, that's some of these bins, these don't smell as bad, I'm gonna show you this and then I take my lavender medicine. 
this one is the Sterite. It used to be Rubbermaid for a really long time. Um, I mean, my kids moved to this one apartment where we didn't have time to clean. The ladies would put everything in big Rubbermaids. We got every kind of Rubbermaid all over. So our whole house was like Rubbermaid stashed everywhere. And then if you're like a hoarder, you bring in more stuff. You don't go through the old stuff and get so I have too much stuff. You don't say stop getting stuff. You have more than enough to get you for the next 125 years. Plus the kids. I have extra 100 years for the kids. So I gained a lot of weight. So the problem is I have a bunch of clothes I don't want to get rid of. These pants here, me and my daughter. My daughter bought Lily's pants from Target. They're leggings with reindeer and snowflakes. I'm going to cry. And I don't want to sell them because they're like size small. And she bought herself like a small, even though she's extra small. But I had gone down. I mean, it was more like 128 for quite a while. It, it did inch up. I think it was hovering at like 132, my weight, for quite a while. And then it went down to the 120s. And then it went down one day to 125 point something. So I, as a big person, like big bone, I, even that weight for me, it's like my high school weight. And I couldn't even fit in. I was muscular. I couldn't even fit in. I'm really was extra small in high school. But this particular time in my life, which was about three years ago, I could fit into a extra small, a small, um, no problem, I have the fat butt and wide hips, and I just will shrink and grow, my arms are usually still fat, but not this fat as they are right now, so it, it's, it's sad because it's like she bought a matching pair, and I got it for Christmas, or whatever, uh, I remember going to the store once, I was like, oh my gosh, I feel like when I was Walmart people going to the store in my pajamas, because I had never worn leggings, they're thick too, like sweater material, I'm staring at them right now because there's no room for them. And I keep trying to stash this stuff in the drawer thinking I'm going to lose weight. And so it's hard when your kids are grown up now. And it's like they use their money from work to, to get you something. And you have to get rid of it. So that's why I'm like a hoarder. Because everything has a memory or a value to it. So everything is scattered about. In fact, I forgot I had bought, I had bought a bunch of purses. I went to buy one and then... I had my Doc Martens one was the best, but I started carrying my iPad around with me. So this was in a purse, like stashed for like months and I had forgotten about it. So that's what happens. And so I have like this one purse I went to get. Say, like, oh, I think my iPad will fit in it. I need to get a wallet. So I got one at Salvation or St. Vincent's. I got another at Salvation Army and St. Vincent's. Like, oh, did you see that matching purse to that? I was like, oh, God, it's $10. Like a miniature purse that nobody ever used including me, <laughs> so it's like, well, this stuff doesn't really fit my iPad, I need to just, I was using that little purse with my iPad um, case, which is for a small laptop, so it's, I need, I said I was going to make one, like, years ago, uh, like a padded little shoulder, like, sack, haversack, or whatever, but I, with a zipper or whatever, secure charger, this, you know, maybe a notebook, a couple of pens or whatever. Never got around to it. So that's what I need to do. Um, Doc Martens has a little satchel bags, which I highly consider. But, I mean, I don't want to pay $180 for it. So I, I just, we're using my Doc Martens little purse and I could fit a wallet. And then I had, then I got my EpiPen. So between the EpiPen and this, I couldn't, I was like, well... I won't carry my EpiPen anywhere. It's like, what if you go somewhere and a cloud of corn gets in your face, which happens, your throat closes up. You're going to say, oh, I left it in a car. Who's going to go out in the city and just be like, oh, where's your car? At? You know, I'm not going to be able to talk. So I hate having kind of, and then it's like, do I want to carry two purses? That little purse would be like the wallet purse and carry a little baggie, a little satchel. Or, you know how there's like the purses that are like this, like, I'm like, I'm never going to carry a big purse like that, but my friend had one, like a handbag, was it a handbag, it's like a shoulder bag, I mean, <clears throat> and she had her stuff, her, I think she'd have like a snack, a drink, and her MacBook Pro in there, oh, she was actually my tutor, because I remember her having her say, watch my stuff, like, go to the bathroom, she's like, if not, I'm going to take it with me, and I was like, oh, that's simple, like, she basically had like three things in it, 
and she might have just had like a wallet in one of the zipper like I'm not saying I went through her bag but I can imagine it having a zipper pocket in, with a wallet so why do I need all these purses in wallets and then I got like oh those purses were what's the brand name those quilted ones and I'm like Vera Bradley and then I got a Vera, Vera Bradley the first thing I got Vera Bradley was a little I think I could fit in my little Doc Martens bag was a red little wallet. So I have like all these extra cards. So I don't just have like one wallet. I have like two or three wallets. Like, and I've been carrying a purse inside of my purse, a leather like it says Afghanistan on it. I have a leather purse inside of a purse. And so if I go, and I, oh, I started wearing glasses too, good grief. And they wouldn't give me, they're like, tell us we're too poor to get transitions, so you have to go and get, um, these other kind of glasses. And I'm like, and she's like, go to Dollar Tree and get these one kind of glasses. I got on Zinni, I wanted blue light blockers. Like, if I'm getting, like, she diagnosed a prescription for the, for the reading glasses and then a distance glasses. And I wanted those for driving, so I wanted the um, lenses. I'm like, these are $120. Plus, I, you only brought a prescription for that, the blue light blocker. I don't even know if I got it for the distance ones. And then it's like if I got the transitions, I, and I used a medical discount. What was it at the time? 15% off or something, a medical provider. I'm like, I could have paid like $15 more and got transitions and learned how to use those and carry or wear one pair of glasses or have this chain. Instead of that, then I bought both of them off Zinni, and so, and I did two separate orders, because I was like, I'm not at the Dollar Tree, and I want blue light, I was looking for blue light blockers, and they, they were sold out everywhere at the beginning of COVID, because everyone was at home on the computer, so I actually just got this, so I could carry it around or wear my glasses, and not have to go buy a bunch of purses, trying to figure out if I could fit my iPad, and my purse wallet, 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 and EpiPen in the same thing and while you're at it why don't we get a purse that has a side pocket where I can put a drink upright so it doesn't spill on my electronics um so I end up getting mad at people again I can't blame these people because of something that's bothering me I need to do something about it so I said I had put the purses in with the I have a couple things over here I labels eBay and I said I don't want to sell these because I got some leather oh, from the Goodwill like wallets has zippers and stuff like this is not like I see my boyfriend's wallet it's just a billfold like why not I just get a freaking billfold <laughs> like you stick that in your pocket if you're at work you have pockets you have like men design or men clothes maybe they're women's but they're still designed like work clothes um with they don't have to have I wonder if that one has zippers. There's a lot of Velcro pockets or hook and eye. Cause you're scared like going to a porta potty in your crap or your outhouse. There's an outhouse at work and your crap like literally falls in crap. Um, I should get a chain wallet. Anyways, this, the point was before all the crying was the eBay store. I was not getting stuff ready for the eBay store and I was supposed to come over here and stay temporarily and help my boyfriend clean out two storage units by selling the stuff online. He has a lot of pictures and glass and a lot of furniture. So we were supposed to, I was supposed to help him for a few weeks sell this stuff on eBay. And it was crazy because I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to have a tax liability. This stuff is old antiques. And I'm like, okay, we're going to sell it, not sell it, sell it. You want to get rid of it? Oh, we're going to have it in someone's garage. Or we're going to have someone in the basement and they have cats and this and this. Like, oh, we're going to sell it. Oh, you're not going to sell it. But you said I could sell it. Oh, you're going to sell it for five bucks. Oh, that was my mom's. Oh, that was my grandma's. You need to sell it for 20 bucks. Oh, blah, 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 blah. And the next thing I know, I see stuff in the garbage that I already posted online. Like, I have one vintage thing on Etsy that I'm paying 20 cents a month for the past two years. Like, I don't know. I just go out in the street and give it away. I'm, you can get the same items new at the store for 10 bucks or 15 bucks at an expensive place. So I'm like, this is ridiculous. If I, I'm digging stuff out of trash because it's gonna, you're gonna take the trash out, it's gonna sell, and then I'm gonna lose my seller page because I have no sales, and that one sale that I finally get is a 
buyers or sellers a flake and threw out the item. Like, so then I was like, well, we need to sit down every day and talk about this, 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 and this, and this is worth this much. I say, you're paying $220 a month for a storage unit. You could give this stuff away, and in a year, you'll be thousands of dollars more rich in your pocket. You could give away this stuff that could be from 5,000 years ago. But in the end of the story, once you give that key back to the storage unit and move out, you're saving $220 a month. Or put something you actually want in there so that you can declutter your house. Like stuff that you're like seasonal clothes or fishing stuff or work stuff. It's got, we've got work stuff. That's outdoor stuff. We don't have a space where he is. So then COVID happened and I got stuck here. Everyone and brother got on eBay. Actually already saw videos. So because of the situation before, when I'm in my house, I had, so I would plan to go back in a few weeks. So I put a, like a link in my eBay store at my house, the handling time. <coughs> and then COVID happened and other stuff happened. And I shut, I saw that first case in Washington state in February. I said, Oh crap, call the kids. You guys better prep. You guys never know where the process I'm going to be stuck. I already got sick on the airplane and injured all this other stuff. So I ended up taking everything from my house off. So because I got stuck and I was supposed to be here for a few months or a few weeks to help clean up. So we did clean out one storage unit, but not the second one. But it was, if it's my stuff and I'm going to sit and cry and take a picture of these pants, like, let's take, let's do that. Let's take a picture. Let's take a picture of these pants. Um, if I'm going to cry and carry on. Then I know that I'm the one who sold it and that God, you know, that God's, I asked God, I don't want to sell any of this stuff. I was selling all my clothes that didn't have holes or stains or when you um, fat legs rub the thighs together and all that. I said, if God wants it sold, he'll sell it. And if God wants me to get something back that I sold because the energy is bad. Say it's a good book from my dad or something. The energy is bad on it. It will show up on my door. We've had tons of stuff show up on our door. We have, we have too much stuff. And God told me, hey, you're like a hoarder. He didn't say that, but I say that. And he's like, you know what? That's a reminder that you're not starving. You're fat. Like for myself, it's like you're fat. You have clothes, even if they're dirty, you have socks. You talk about wool socks. They might not be 100% wool, but those are hard to find, and they get holes in them fast. You have coats. You have vests. You have clothes that are too big, too small. Barely any that are just right, but you got sewing supplies. You got craft supplies. You got beading supplies. You got stuff to make smoothies and dehydrated garlic bread, which I did the other day for the first time with this. Yum! Addictive morning. That's why I'm fat. It tastes good. So I'm gonna look up. Where am I? Oh, I have some books. I need other glasses. Okay, let's look up Target. I don't wanna look up Target. I'll say Target. Reindeer. They're not Target. That's not what they call it. Target reindeer leggings. Let's see if they just come up. Okay. And these are all like little, literally like reindeer. Reindeer leggings. Okay, so these are just companies that have a buttload. So I need to actually get up and lazy and get the brand name. What is Target's brand names? There's some pictures as bad as mine. You can see that they <laughs> took their picture like sideways or not sideways. Let me just get up. I'm lazy. I, don't, I shouldn't say I'm lazy. It's my day off and I have an appointment, so I'm like super anxious about it. So these are Moss, I, I always pronounce it wrong, Mossimo. Okay, Mossimo, Mossimo. I'm pretty sure they're size small. So be careful if you do the cell as um, similar because sometimes they might have fixed it. It depends what kind of app you have. Um, my whole Android one was really bad at eBay, like stuff would disappear and freeze out my phone and 
if you sell similar as someone else's, sometimes the size, like a large, you'll go through and write the description, all this stuff, and double check it, and you have a small, and that person had a large. Sometimes it won't let you change it, or yours has a little bit different, like, to do, like a newer model it might have, a zipper the other one doesn't, or something in it, or a silver zipper one, grit gold, it won't let you change certain things. All right, here's the exact ones, and they, okay, I'm going to show you this picture. Someone's calling for 350 Oh, my God. Uh, I thought they had the exact same. I had this wrinkled, um, see that piece of cloth? See that piece of cloth under the pants? I have a steam iron, because I don't have an iron board. I have a steam iron, which is probably not a good idea, so what about silk and stuff like my boyfriend said he had some iron somewhere high out. I mean, I'm trying to, I was trying to get a job, and I had these clothes in the laundromat, and stuff wasn't getting dried or put away, and it's just like, oh my god, I had to wash clothes in the sink. So, these are the same ones. So, like I said, there's a size discrepancy. Um, they just basically fold these pants and put them up on the, they only have three pictures. They basically have two pictures, probably one to the front, one to the back. Um, so we're gonna, they're gonna send me a whole bunch of emails. Waist size 32 inches. I should, I ought to buy these. And sell, <laughs> I ought to buy the extra, extra large. I'm not even joking, you guys. Sergeant 08 something. I'm not even joking. Uh, extra, extra large, I think. I think my waist is probably 32 inches. It's so fat. I feel like I, I can't go above an extra large. I don't know why it starts getting balloony. So I'm going to say, sell one like this. So I have stuff tucked away. I have a regular clothes that need to be attended to. I had been working all these jobs and working different jobs and working for myself part-time and work for other people part-time and doing this loan signing stuff. And I am exhausted. I should have been asleep when I'm making this video. I'm so exhausted. Um, the second thing was a dream. So, anyways, I'm gonna change the size to small, and you could also put oh. I was gonna say okay. I'm gonna put size S Z, and I'll say small. Sometimes I put small and s but this is a title so change that i can't see what i'm doing and then change the right, black and white right here so change the size on the listings whatever this is um to small and i'll double check that they're actually small make sure to save it i'm going to go ahead and what you want to do is change the store category you want to have your categories. I don't like the name of mine. I call it woman's clothes. That sounds really bad. I want it to be woman's clothing, but I don't know how to change it. Um, like, and I'm scared that anything that's in woman's clothes and woman's clothing are going to end up in two separate things. I don't like the grammar. I did this a long time ago. Um, so this guy's got it on auction. I'm going to put it, uh, take it off auction. Trending 850. So I'm going to put it for I'm just gonna put it for $10.99. If you like something, but you put it up for higher, so $16.99. Um, offers three dollars or higher. I'll just keep it like that because I don't want to entertain anything. Sometimes you want to do a dollar because they might just be like, let me just throw out a dollar, see what they say. And you might say six fifty plus shipping plus five dollars shipping, and they might say, oh, okay, great, you know. So this is. The delivery, you always want to check this. If you think, you do this if you're making a draft or you're taking someone else's. If you think it's a pound, and you think about that size thing, if you if you grab this from someone who's got a small and yours is an extra, extra large, um, they don't always make it the best quality. So they might have thinner fabric. That's, that is sweater material, sweater knit. Um, you want to make sure to weigh it. My scale, that the one scale that I have, didn't we get a second scale? The scale that I got doesn't weigh little stuff, and the other scale I got 
that my boyfriend got is like a jeweler scale. Which is, I guess I should be doing jewelry all day. So I'm in using my luggage where I brought out here's my luggage scale, which is good. Because I brought it out here as a luggage scale, but I actually bought it as a baby scale. And I've actually used it as a baby scale because of my patients. I ordered a baby scale that turns into a toddler scale where you could stand up, I think, up to 125 pounds. It turns into a lay down plastic scale. We take that off and then toddler and then kids, peds. And so anyways, the Amazon never sent. I don't know what's up with that company, but I hope they gave me my refund. I got to check and see because this was months ago. I, I ordered it like a week before I was supposed to see my patient, so I didn't do a plan B. But anyways, I'm in having to take a, either a grocery bag or cloth bag and tar weight, tear weight that, and then put the item in there. I like to do it with some packaging, like a, like a box and some paper, like get like a, even you have like a bag that you ship, you got a package in yesterday. That's a good idea. If you have the actual bag you want to put in, that's even better, because you'll be surprised some poly bags, the really big ones, do add like maybe 0.2 or 0.3 to the weight. And the little ones probably had uh, hardly add anything. I always put about at least three pieces of paper in there. <coughs> some tape. You get some really good thin scotch or whatever brand tape. And you move to a different type of tape, shipping tape or something, or storage tape or moving tape. I've had seen a difference in tape making it super heavy, like from change in brand. So you'll be you'll be like, oh that's gonna weigh nothing between that and that poly bag, but then you get a thicker poly bag, or there's postcards, right here I have a, a stack of paper and a postcard, put that in there, I hate to overpay, um, the post office in Portland usually was, my scale in Portland 0.2, I should have just got one of those, 0.2, oh I got the big one, it says 450 pounds because of the furniture and stuff, um, it's in the car, I should probably take it out, but the one in Portland, it's point plus or minus 0.2, which is not very accurate. It's accurate, but 0.2 is the difference between 15.9 ounces and 16.1 ounces. So if someone else's is selling a small and you're selling a large, it might jump from first class to one pound. And if you're selling shoes or a mug and you take um, sell someone, you're not taking their listing because you gotta do your own pictures and descriptions. If they have their own shoes, and they just put in a poly bag, or they do a bag in a box, their shipping might be eight bucks, but you're gonna use the USPS box, it's like $17 to ship priority, a pair of shoes, and it sucks to do that for women's shoes, because they'll be like this big, and the box will be like this big. So, to keep that stuff in mind, when they ship, you could estimate, um, I'm not as good now, but I was, you hold on to something, you're like, that weighs about, between four and five ounces, between four and six, you kind of you kind of want to try to estimate more on the heavier side if you're estimating, because you don't want to rip the person off. Say, oh, I I said it weighed eight pounds, but it's just a envelope, an empty coin envelope or something, and it actually weighs three ounces or one ounce. You don't want to rip them off like that. But if you're like, oh crap, I just found out these pants. I thought they were 11 ounces, but they're really 9, and maybe that makes a difference. Maybe it doesn't. You you might save an extra 50 cents or something. You're like, oh, crap, I overcharged them or whatever. But if you you undercharge people, too, you're like, oh, crap, I forgot. I weighed this, and I didn't put the paper in the container in there. Now it weighs over a pound. Oh, no. They only paid four ninety nine shipping, and now you got to pay... Nine ninety nine shipping, like face palm, and I took a best off on three dollars for an item I was selling for seventeen. Uh, you made a mistake. Just sell it. Just get rid of, get it out of your house, get it out of your storage unit, get it out of your warehouse. <clears throat> face palm, you know, and move on. It sucks, but um, every sell you get starts to raise your algorithm level, and you get more sales after that. So we're gonna go. Speaking of 8 ounces, we're going to go with 11 ounces right now because I don't know. I'm going to actually put it at 12. 12 by 10 by 1. I'm going to change it. I'm going to keep it like that, but I'm going to put it by 2. Um, done. I wasn't going to take a picture. Shipping, first class, additional services. Let's see. I think they have calculated. Yeah. The apps usually get better. I have three business days. And I'm going to do the... 
descriptions, so women's clothes, and they usually change it. They start adding it, so I'll say pre-owned. I'll say pre-owned sweater like. Oh shoot, it disappeared. Ah! It just completely closed down my. Dang it. Pre. It closed down what I was writing and it completely erased it. Pre, uh, pre owned, I'll put a comma now. Um, sweater hyphen like. Material. I was saying reindeer. And snowflakes. You already know that. Uh, I'll say it again. With designs. And then I'll say, I'm not looking at the tag, so I put snow lakes. So be careful on iPad. It's, it's not always easy to correct stuff when you type. Sometimes I have to erase like the whole lines. It used to let me double tap everything and I would get right like a magnifying glass. Or I could hold it down or whatever it was when I was new and I could like get I said spelled snow lakes instead of snowflakes. Sometimes it won't auto correct or give you an option like a phone or a computer does. And then I'll say, um, did I put the size on there? Small, I don't think it's small. I'll say contact with me. Contact me. This usually says it with any questions. Okay, that's stupid. I'm gonna say done so I can save it. So the thing about what I'm self-telling me, I was selling about thousand something dollars a year and I wasn't really selling. I was selling my stuff, my personal stuff that I bought. So it was a depreciation. Um, you're not supposed to claim that as income, but I kind of wish I did because so I would have a 1099 record of sales. But um, some things occasionally we did buy at the store for the children, but they, um, oh, that's where that hanger I like is. Sometimes I bought stuff for the children, um, but <clears throat> it didn't fit, or we didn't like it, or we got home and wanted to wash it first. So then it's like you didn't necessarily buy it to resell it, but you bought it for someone, and then you're reselling it because it's it doesn't fit because you're not able to try it on at the store or whatever. But you can see the scale. Um, <laughs> Out of the door, it's like a sliding door, not like really irritating me to have them there. All right, so this I don't have many, I only have like one of these hangers, these are valuable to me because you can hang it up. The wall looks horrible, I haven't taken pictures in so long. Look how small these are. I'm like, you'd be surprised when you go from a small to extra large, it's not really that much bigger. So, those of you who wear large, extra large. It's not really that much bigger than a small or a medium, even though a small, skinny person looks, everyone's like, oh, you look healthy, oh, I'm going to hire you, oh, I'm going to date you, oh, I'm going to let you pay attention to you when you're in my line and, you know, hold doors open. I know how it was when I lost weight, or when I gained weight, and I know how it was when people started talking to me differently. So I wasn't going to go through this whole thing. I don't usually have time to do anything um, because my partner was here and he's distracting me from stuff. And like this, so I was going to say before is having the bedroom in my house, which I'm going back there, but I don't. I'm trying to decide, you know what I ought to do is, oh shoot, I'm just gonna, uh, sometimes they cut off edges, so you're like, oh, I don't really want, like, I'm just able to wear these for my camera, um, I feel like the thighs definitely are, I'll say there's a little bit of pelling in the thighs, I mean, 
piling or pilling. I just looked away. I'm going to go all the way down in the back with the pictures. These, it's so dark. It's really, really sad. Like, you can't really see the piling. So I'm going to do like that other person did on, on the white sheet. I don't want to put it on the place that I sleep. <laughs> I'm having deja vu, like, big time. I've been having it all week, guys. Who was that? Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Take a picture of the tag, and when you do that, go back. So I, a lot of times I would have saved this as a, um, sometimes I do the tag upside down. I do this as a draft. I don't always get back to them. That's a problem. Pollen alert. I don't know if that was, let me take another one. It doesn't really show the picture. All right, so I'm going to go off of here. It's going to give you the option probably to do a white background. White, that's not white, <laughs> it's dingy. So I'll say done. At least get it saved because you can come back to it later. Um, the pictures look horrible. I'm not like I am. This is why I don't sell stuff. The pictures look absolutely horrible. Um, let's see if I can brighten it. You know, I'm just gonna crop this first one and then the other ones because the um, I was the on my phone it cuts part of it off. So you don't, and it whitens the back. Um, so I really do need a ring light, or like I want a ring light so for my computer stuff, because I'm black and I, I don't know. That's one thing I was doing these visits, and I looked really bad. So these, this next picture is blurry, so I'm gonna trash it. Um, unfortunately. And I forgot to take a picture. There's another blurry one. So I'm used to doing them on my phone. So I'm unfortunately, okay, so let's see. That one is not that blurry, but it's not that clear. So I'll get rid of the blurrier one. So it looks like I need to take two more pictures to make up for what I just threw away. Um, it's hard to tell on a pair of pants like this when for the customer what's the front and what's the back. But, because it's like the same, you know, like jeans, they have the buttons. So I'm going to add, how do I add? I'm going to add a couple more pictures of the back. Oh, sometimes you'll see some dust or something on there. And, um, you want to take, retake the picture if you see that. If it's like a flaw, like it's white string dangling out. I tend to just um, leave it in the picture and take a pen closed and take the pointer and point to the flaw so that they can see it. Sometimes it's not noticeable, but the pictures I take are really poor quality. And sometimes it, it probably was auto adjusted that I did that. So, you usually want to take a picture of the of the legs of the um, leg openings. This picture is the worst one. You, you want to look at it. It's a good reminder to do the legs because I'm short and it, these are my pants. They're short, but most of my pants, if I get them, the bottoms get frayed from walking on or muddy. So you know what I mean. You gotta do. You gotta do that. You gotta check and tell them, tell them if it's got a little bit of fraying on it. Tell them if it's got piling, because don't let them be surprised and be like, your picture didn't show this, you didn't disclose this, I'm returning it, and you, you're gonna pay five dollars to ship it back, get a negative review, potentially, and have someone had washed it. Um, and now you got something that smells like perfume and you're trying to, I, I had something that got sent back, my only one. She said it was a child size, not a adult size. So this one's still blurry. So I gotta take one more of the back. Okay, so. So these are all the back. It's kind of, it might look awkward. There's like an energy about stuff, but. I'm going to allow it to be awkward because you could also check the crotch, make sure there's no holes. Do that with the underarms. I got something from Swap and it was 
I think two of the shirts. Okay, I'm gonna hold real still. Shh. Shh, yeah. Two of the shirts had holes right here in the underarm, starting to fray. And it was one, they only have one picture. They don't tell you the material. So they had um, not disclosed that. They say most things were super inspected and I was not convinced, but I didn't send it back. I didn't send, I, do, I should have said something because I, I was going to be like, you need to check the armpits. And then I washed it and I wore it and said, it's going to look like, I'll show you what that is actually. It doesn't match this, but let me put it on there, 55. Oh. Okay, so let's go back. It's taking longer. This is why it takes to be so long if my boyfriend's here. So cotton, viscose, polyester, nylon. Let me go ahead and write that out. Um, <clears throat> 55% cotton. I'm someone who likes as much cotton as I can, even though it's pesticides, but it's pre-owned. You hope it's washed out. So I'll say 55% cotton. So I haven't posted in a long time. Um, no. 15%, oh, 20% viscose. So these are my matching with my daughter's pants. Sometimes you see me cry. I want to do more videos. You'll see me cry trying to sell stuff. But you see hoarders TV shows where they get mad and they say, get out of my house. I've had enough. Or, no, I want that. I know, I know how it feels. So you see the crying. See, everything is clean. It's not tidy. But I am about to, I'm like freaked out right now. I just need to get in the shower and wash them clothes. Um, I'm like... Wipe, wipe some stuff down. Okay. So I'll just say made in China. So be careful if you have also another person um, sell like similar. They may have something that. Um, in fact, I'm going to put it in this crate. They may have something. Just like my hair on this pillow. You don't want to lay it anywhere that you lay down the end of the bed where your blankets or bed spread is, but not, you don't want it near your pillows or anything where your hair is. Um, they might have something that's made in Bangladesh and the one you have is made in Sri Lanka. So make sure you note that someone might have a problem. You want to be as honest as you can. So there is actually a slight hole starting to develop. So I'm going to have to, um, I wasn't even going to check that, but I was told me to check the crotch for hair, <laughs> like not, not that kind of hair. Okay, so I have too many of these pictures of the legs. I don't want to take down any pictures of the front. So I think the thing is, it's I got a 12 pictures that I can have. I'll get rid of this one. And I already have 12, so I'll take one more picture. Just kind of that's going to make it easier for you to accept an offer or they might not even, I want to hold it up and do it. They might not even, um, I'll show you what I mean by the pen. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. So I'm going to, I'm not going to be able, this pen doesn't work that well because it's the same color as the pants. So I'm going <clears> to, <throat> Where's the camera? Oh, I have it upside down. I had it upside down the whole time. Um, why did it get brighter all of a sudden? It's really hard with it, um, black and white. I'll say, um, there's like no hole, but it's, it's like it's layer, inner layer. I'll say, I'll say, um, hole starting to develop an inner layer. So say, go back to your description and type that in. Sometimes I say, um, just condition, I'll say, um, hold starting to develop an inner layer of fabric. 
comma crotch area C photo with pen top for reference. Okay, so that was good that I did that. So you, this is stupid, but you want to shake the stuff and make sure there's no ants or moths or hair. Or, I mean, I had had my guinea pigs and stuff, and the grass and dander. I mean, these are all clean. Some of the stuff I washed several times. You could smell it. Make sure you really <laughs> like you didn't wash. You'll be surprised if you have your own clothes and you wash it. You might say, oh my God, I have nothing else to wear. This is too small. Let me wear it. So I put it, I folded it and put it in here. I didn't even weigh it yet. Um, I prefer to weigh it and put it in the package, like a bag or whatever. So I know that I have a bag. So you can get the free um, Amazon. So $16.99 is too much. We're just going to list it. So I have that horrible picture, that very first picture is like crop, but it has two black bars on the side. The other ones I like, but I don't know why that was like that. I'm going to list it, guys. So you just want to make sure your price is higher or the same as you want. If you offer offers, you want it higher. Um, if you don't want to get rid of it, it makes your price higher. There's no guarantee. Um, like I said, I was about to sell this one for cheap and buy another one. You can do... Share it on Instagram. Um, so I wasn't going to do that. The dream. This is the second part of my story that I was going to tell you. I'm going to keep track of this hanger. So I used to only have one. That thumbtack's broken, so I took that down. Um, I need to vacuum and dust the wall. Um, I had a dream, and I don't remember if it was, like, blue, like, um, turquoise. I have, like, a scarf, a really big one. It's, like, a blue or a yellow bowl, like, a the bowl. I have a mortar and a pestle that has, like, a silver little bowl. I didn't know. I always, like, go like this with a mortar and a pestle, and everything flies out. And I saw somewhere you're supposed to, like, grind it. And I'm like, oh, my God. No one ever watched anyone do it. In my dream, I had this bowl. This is several days ago, and it was yellow or blue, and it was kind of like a bowl to use for a Buddhist meditation, like the ding, ding, and it was hollow. And like I said, I couldn't tell in my dream what color it was. When I woke up, I couldn't tell. And it was like I was at a meditation, or I was leading a meditation, or I was by myself or doing meditation, or I was just doing the ball or the bowl and the bowl converted almost like a say you had a difference like a cross between a big lighter and a, like a pipe like a curvy wooden like tobacco pipe or like it's carved and it, like it has a snake or some swirl, tree of life or something swirl around it. So instead of like a smooth lighter, it was like the bowl had shifted into this like container with, you know how like game cartridges for the old video games where you had to stick the cartridge into the slot. It was like this thing was in there and it was, I wrote it down on my phone. It was... What was it supposed to do? I can't remember what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to do something. And what ended up happening is it turned into incense. And it started, smoke started coming out the top, like small amounts of smoke. And it was just like, in the dream, it was like, it was peaceful. It was like relaxing. It wasn't scary. I can't remember, like, I don't know if the thing inside was supposed to be a light or if it was supposed to be more sound. Um, I wrote it down in my phone somewhere. It's been a really busy week.
and it's been a little bit uneventful. There's been a little bit of car screaming and some other people, but I am, like, freaking out. So, I have told my boyfriend that I needed to go to a Goodwill Benz for the first time. And looking around at all this stuff in the storage unit and the house and my closet and the house. People are like, you don't need anything. And my mind is like, yeah, you need to list the stuff you have. So I'm going to cry because my daughter has the same pants, but let's see if I had rope. The stream down. Let's see. I'm pretty sure. Here, this, this looks like, was that yesterday? Oh my gosh, it seems like two days. Oh, that's, I'm looking for the word D. <laughs> so it's like, I don't even see it on my, I usually put it in my calendars. Oh, here it is. So it's Wednesday. So I said, dream about a weird place, van, and meditation tool. So I, oh, the van, it was like this lady from our old church named Misty. It was like we, we went to this place and there was like a bunch of chill people and she had this van, like this old like 90s van opened up and I don't know if we were camping or we had all of our stuff in there. It was So I said meditation tool was like a Buddhist bowl, yellow or blue, with sharp and blunt end. It transformed into a chamber. Some Someone helped me. The cling or clang produced hardly any sound then it got louder and louder like it was spiraling and since smoke started to start drifting up to the top and real lot. In real life, I started coughing and woke up. I woke feeling really sick, like head cold and our exposure to this raw food product. Wow. Um, I forgot about the noise. So whether that thing was in there to make a noise, like maybe it's like a button that was a bing, like it like flicks the bowl. You know how you have a bowl and it ding like that? This one, I remember now, it was, ding, like, and then you're just like, ah, so loud. So it was like spiraling it to bigger than you think of a noise, if you were to draw a noise. So the last thing I want to say, I'm glad I wrote that down because I've forgotten about the van. Three days this week, I thought about someone from the old church. I thought, I thought about an old pastor. I thought about this guy named Bill. And I thought about this lady named Misty. And I woke up like that, and it's weirding me out because I had a really bad experience with these people. Not necessarily those people I just said, but the people that they supported. Super racist, super liars, um, super thieves. I had so much stuff stolen. Me and my son had so much stuff stolen from church. It was, it's ridiculous, but... People at church evil is still people's husbands. You gotta watch out. Like, not the ones, people that I know, either in or out of that church, you gotta be careful, guys. Um, the thinking of the pants and me crying. I did this to my stars shirt, size small. It's like one of the two things that I got from, what is that? Old Navy. I had mailed order something, you know, Old Navy when I needed some nice clothes. It ended up being a denim button-up shirt with a collar. I didn't want to wear denim to clinic, so I wore it sometimes. I feel like I look too masculine in a button-up shirt, but people will think I'm masculine anyways. Um, I don't like it, but I had a hard time with my fat body, like, feeling like I need, like, a fitted button-up shirt. You know what I mean? I can't have this big, if you have, like, wide shoulders and your breasts are either big or not big and then your stomach is either big or skinny and your hips are big if it just goes from where your shoulders bust and hips are it's going to look like you're in a tent if you have it where you actually have a waistline and the back actually shows the curvature of your butt because my butt is like a shelf i used to rest my backpack on it when i was a kid at the bus stop that's why i, like, I think a lot of african-americans sort of wear leggings because it's hard to walk around wearing pants that are so wide as you knock stuff over you get stuck in doorknobs and stuff so to end this hour-long video i want to tell you guys i had sold the shirt i had cried like that and i got a job at the post office for christmas packages recently and i wore this shirt with the stars and the buttons except for this time like now where i got fat for money of my sobriety life, I could fit. It might have been a size medium. I could fit in the shirt. And I wore it on the 4th of July. And 4th of July was is also my clean and sober date, 2004. 
and the shirt sold. And I had it tucked away, clean, nice, folded up. And I shipped it off. I mean, you don't want returns, but you're like, if it really sentimental, maybe it would get returned to you or whatever. But you, you want somebody to enjoy it. You want to keep it out of the landfill. You want to get out before you, like, that blanket spill coconut oil on it and ruin it. Or before you say, I want to wear it one more time, you bend over and it cracks in the butt. But that happens. Probably it shouldn't have been sold. It's probably old. But yeah, if you're too fat and you put some on and the arm breaks or whatever, it wouldn't necessarily happen if they fit. And the next day I had to get these shirts because I didn't have time to wash clothes. We didn't have a washing machine. And I go to the laundromat when you're working three jobs a day. Plus your own self employment. I work at Census Post Office and the Landings. Um, ranger job. I went to Kohl's the first time I'd been to Kohl's. Since the pandemic, I had gone in a couple of times to get since, uh, some stuff at the pickup, order to the store pickup. But it's the first time I walked around and I was like, oh shoot, the dressing rooms are closed and oh shoot, I need some clearance items, but I am fat and I don't want to, if I can't try it, I don't want to get a, some, a large or medium I said I can't keep getting extra large because they're like too big and if it happens to not fit in my fat here then I can sell it or return it and I found this two shirts in the large or extra large one is lemons with the leaves on it and the other one is a red shirt t-shirt with white stars and it was like the same week and they were both like two dollars and 49 cents or whatever so I said God you did it you replaced my fourth of july shirt and i saw those online during fourth of july like after fourth of july clearance there's another shirt over here i forget about but i don't like t-shirts they're sloppy looking i need to dress nicer i like stars and plants and flowers and but something if you're trying to declutter and you have a thousand items in your house and you want a hundred it's hard but sometimes you have something you wear as a tradition for holiday and it, you can't fit in it or it's grungy and you sell it, someone else can enjoy it. And then you get something else to replace it. So this 4th of July, I can wear that. Um, and then I got to wear those clothes at the post office. It's really dirty. You don't want to, people wore nice shirts. I've worn nice shirts there before, but only because I don't have anything else to wear. That's what I wanted to say. Peace, guys.